Hi everybody, I'm Nikita Kohl from JetBrains Research and today I'm going to present a joint work with Alexander Fedorov from High School of Economics and JetBrains Research and Dan Aristala from IST Austria and uh, I will give a talk uh, on a novel scalable concurrent algorithm for the dynamic connectivity problem. And in short, uh, we have an and directed graph G and we want to support the following three operations. We want to be able to add a new edge, to remove an existing edge and to check whether two vertices are in the same component or not. And we want to perform these connectivity checks under edge additions and removals. And uh, the question is how to do this efficiently and how to do this efficiently in concurrent scenario. And we start with the classic error to tree structure, which is specifies a tree as a graph traversal, exactly as in the classic DSU graph algorithm. So take a look at the graph on the left and uh, the traversal uh, presented in the center, it's uh, the exactly what uh, uh, I mean. And we can, uh, store this traversal in some balance tree, we'll discuss this later, but uh, the uh, most important thing is that when we, for example, want to remove an edge from this tree, let's remove the edge 3 from the graph on the left. When we remove it, we'll have two new trees, the red one and the blue one. And surprisingly, when we compare these red and blue trees, the, 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 these traversals, so with the traversal uh, in the center, the original one, then we can see that, wow, we can simply split the, uh, the, the traversal at the point of uh, uh, removing edge occurrences. After that, we have three parts and we just need to merge the part on the left with the part on the right and we'll have exactly the traversals of new red and blue trees. So when we remove an edge, if we store all the structure in a balanced tree, we are able to perform edge removals in logarithmic time. And trust me, we can do almost the same for edge additions. So if we want to solve the dynamic connectivity problem on trees, then we can uh, represent each tree with the air to tree and when we want to add a new edge we simply merge two air to trees when we need to remove an edge we remove this from the air to tree and we, after that we'll have two new air to two trees as uh, we uh, already discussed and for the connected uh, way we simply go to the root of u and to the root of v and to check whether uh, these roots are equal or not. If they are equal, then we are in the same component. And if not, sorry, we are in different components. And if we represent uh, uh, the area to tree with uh, some balanced tree, then uh, all these operations work in logarithmic time. Uh, and uh, uh, to, uh, to construct a general solution when G is not a, f a forest of trees but uh, uh, just a normal graph, then we uh, use all the same idea. So we have a spanning forest which is represented uh, as a forest of air to trees and uh, it's kind of a connectivity structure. Uh, uh, Additionally, we have a set of non-spanning edges and uh, uh, the problem is that when we re remove an edge from, uh, uh, from a spanning forest, then uh, we need to check whether there is another edge, currently non-spanning edge, which can be a replacement for it to keep the connectivity and to perform this uh, a search efficiently, we uh, hierarchically decompose uh, these spanning edges into log n levels, so it's kind of tricky st uh, structure, but it's not very important for uh, my talk. You can check the, uh, the paper 
uh, don't you think you should know that there is an algorithm the, an algorithm by Holm et al uh, which was published uh, uh, 20 years ago and uh, it's kind of state of that algorithm and uh, our work basis on it we use this uh, algorithm under the hood and uh, uh, and here when we need to add an edge it can be performed in uh, logarithmic time uh, and remove edge has the worst complexity because we need to uh, find a replacement but still it's not a linear time uh, and as for the connected query it's uh, uh, a bit uh, better than uh, logarithmic time so this is our baseline and uh, uh, using it we want to construct a scalable concurrent algorithm so there will be three main ingredients first of all we know that in most of the realistic scenarios connectivity queries dominate that's why it's important to make them fast and scalable and uh, the idea is to make them non-blocking so does it matter uh, uh, are we adding an edge concurrently removing some edge we uh, want to be able to perform connectivity check in non-blocking way after that we'll apply fine-grained locking uh, so uh, each uh, uh, so instead of uh, uh, quoting a lock a global lock for each uh, uh, edge addition and removal will uh, maintain separate logs for each of the component so we'll be able uh, to uh, to run operations on uh, disjoint components in parallel and uh, the last ingredient is processing updates that uh, do not change the uh, connectivity structure of our layer 2 trees in non-blocking way as a result we'll create a still blocking but practical and scalable algorithm because uh, most of the operations uh, will be processed in a non blocking way or simply in parallel uh, in case of fine grained blocking. As a result, we will have blocking but very practical algorithm. So we'll still need logs for updating the connectivity structure, but most of the operations will occur. Uh, in parallel, in non-blocking way, uh, so the algorithm will be scalable and extremely efficient. I will show you the results at the, to the end of the presentation. And uh, let's start from making uh, connectivity queries non-blocking. For this purpose, we need single write error to trees. Uh, we want to use them in the following way. All updates will be performed under logs. However, connectivity queries should be able to be performed in non-blocking way. And if we do it in naive way, then we have an obvious problem. Consider we have two components of connectivity, A, B and C, D, and we want to add an edge between these components. So we need to rebalance the trees. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, in this case, uh, we will uh, have uh, uh, subtrees A, B, C and D disconnected from each other and after that we link uh, all of them uh, as A, D, B, C. However, if a uh, concurrent uh, uh, contiguity query comes when we are in the middle state, it can see that A and B parts are disconnected while they were never been disconnected to logically. It's just a relinking uh, process and we need to uh, perform this process in a way so that the concurrent connectivity checks do not see all this uh, uh, internal stuff. So, how can we do this? Very simple way. Uh, first of all, when we want to merge uh, two trees, we add a link from one tree to another and when we do rebalancing we keep the links to the root so when connectivity query comes it should uh, always be able to 
achieve uh, the root. So we merge uh, the components and never disconnect uh, them uh, while uh, performing rebalancing. Similar idea can be applied for edge removals. Remember, we split uh, uh, the tree uh, in this case and merge the parts on the left and on the right. And uh, uh, the same idea. We need to keep uh, the structure linked. Okay, and if we do so, then uh, we are able to implement connected query in a non-blocking way. And in the ideal world, we would do the following. We would have a version uh, uh, for each of the roots. And when we add an edge or remove an edge, then we atomically, when we apply this operation, we atomically increment the, the version. In this case, uh, the connect implementation is extremely simple. We just need to read you, uh, the root of u and its version, the root of v and its version, and uh, check that uh, the root of u is the same and the version has not been changed as well. And in this case, we have very some short and if we have any very snapshot, we just uh, restart the operation. And uh, we have a very snapshot that we then we can simply uh, check whether the found roots are equal or not. However, it's impossible to do this because we can't atomically apply split or merge operation and uh, incre uh, increment the version of the root because they are located in different memory locations. That's why we have a smarter solution, kind of tricky one. We increase versions uh, before update and uh, we designed a tricky consistency check. We don't really have time for it, so I will just uh, show you some slides, but we just need to do more um, you know, find root invocations and checks that nothing uh, has been changed. So, uh, let's move to the second ingredient, to the fine-grained locking. Now we can do non-blocking, uh, now we can do connected queries in non-blocking way, and with the fine-grained locking we can uh, perform updates on different uh, components in parallel. And uh, uh, for this purpose, uh, we need to uh, to assign logs for each of the component and we assign logs to the roots of the components. So when we need to log uh, two components, uh, we go to the roots. Uh, we uh, first of all check that uh, uh, we, we require logs in the same order because otherwise we'll be in deadlock. And uh, then we uh, log uh, the corresponding uh, mutexes and recheck that uh, the locked uh, uh, roots are still the roots. If not, we release the logs and uh, restart the operation. Okay. And the last ingredient is log free on spanning edge updates. Uh, it's quite complicated part of the paper in the main body we present a simplified solution and uh, the full uh, uh, algorithm uh, is moved to the appendix section because of a ton of technical details but here I will uh, uh, highlight the main idea so when we add an edge it's uh, uh, at first in the initial state and uh, there are two cases it either connects uh, to different components and in this case this edge should become spanning and we can do this only under the log because it changes the uh, connectivity structure however if uh, uh, the adding edge uh, is not going to change the connectivity structure then it's not spanning edge and we can simply update the status of uh, on the edge from initial to non-spanning. And uh, similarly, when we remove an edge, we can uh, uh, check 
whether this edge is spanning or not spanning and if it's spanning we should perform this operation on the log find the replacement and so so on uh, however if it's a non-spanning edge then we can try to simply update the status from non-spanning to removed and uh, uh, this heuristic uh, allows uh, to, to perform uh, non-spanning edge additions and removals in non-blocking way and uh, in practice most of uh, uh, the updates are non-spanning edge updates Okay, let's take a look how the constructed uh, algorithm works in practice. Uh, consider the following benchmark. We have some graph and we add a random half of it to the data structure. That's our initialization part. And after that, we run uh, multiple threads and uh, each of them uh, uh, chooses a random operation so it either performs uh, edge addition, edge removal on connectivity check and it also chooses uh, a random uh, edge from the second part of the graph and uh, it applies the operation with this random uh, edge and we also support different read update uh, ratios because in uh, uh, real world uh, scenarios uh, connectivity checks uh, dominate and uh, in the paper we have more benchmarks, more graphs, even bigger graphs, but uh, here I will focus on the following four graphs. Graph of USA roads in the Colorado state, two social uh, network graphs uh, from Twitter ne social network and, Stato and Stanford uh, uh, web uh, subnet. And uh, the last graph is a random one with uh, 10 uh, components of uh, connectivity. Here is us for the workload with 80% uh, of uh, connectivity queries, 10% uh, uh, edge additions, 10% edge removals. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time to discuss uh, uh, the results properly. But here you can see that our technique will make the uh, uh, algorithm really scalable especially on the road graph, uh, maybe a bit worse on uh, social network graphs. Uh, and when we increase uh, uh, the uh, connectivity queries ratio, then we see that uh, our solution scales uh, very well. So to sum up, uh, in this work, we present a practical and scalable solution for the dynamic connectivity problem. And uh, we uh, based our solution on the uh, uh, algorithm by Holm et al. But uh, the same approach can be applied to the recent uh, improvements of this algorithm because the underlying ideas are almost the same. And we also believe that the introduced single writer earlier to, to tree is uh, potentially useful for uh, other, other problems such as uh, the dynamic single uh, source uh, shortest path uh, problem. Thanks for your attention and have a nice conference.